Hi and welcome back to Freedio Hub. Today we would learn how can we install Atlas OS. It's a modified version of Windows 10, an official release from their website. You can find related information on GitHub as well. Um, they are just talking about that it's an open source modification of Windows 10 operating system designed to optimize the performance and latency. So it's meant for the gaming PCs where you can have an excellent performance of Windows 10 with reduced processes, memory efficient, more storage and better privacy and then you can see that lots of people have downloaded it it's available on their website for free um, you can download it from here by clicking on the download button as as you can see that more than 150,000 people have already downloaded the software so we have already downloaded the software uh, which is an ISO file and it's of 1.5 GB only which is quite small as compared to Windows 10 original footprint of uh, around about 4.5 GB uh, we'll be using VirtualBox today, which is the latest version of VirtualBox version 7. Actually, it's uh, 7.0.2. If you'll uh, click on downloads, you'll be able to see the latest version of it, which is 7.0.2. And with that, we'll be installing the uh, uh, virtual machine VirtualBox extension pack as well, which gives us lots of other capabilities on the free virtualization software, which is VirtualBox. So we have installed the latest version of VirtualBox. As you can see, we are using VirtualBox version 7 and it's 7.02. And make sure that you have downloaded the extension. As you can see over here, we have the extension pack number 7.0.2. So that's the first time we are installing uh, uh, Atlas operating system on our VirtualBox. Uh, previously, we have installed the legacy operating systems. You can find the videos of these on our channel. So in order to install the installation or in order to install the virtual machine, uh, you'll have to click on new uh, and then you'll have to name the virtual machine. The name is at Atlas OS. And then we'll choose a path of it. Make sure you're selecting any other drive other than the C drive. Then you can select the ISO file from here. As you can see, we have selected the ISO file uh, type. You can select Microsoft Windows in this one and keep it selected as 64-bit operating system. Press Next. Now here we are allocating RAM for our virtual machine. Uh, try not to have uh, the slider all the way to this orange or red line because that's the RAM which is required for your host machine. Um, the requirement for the Atlas OS is minimum 4 GB so we'll keep it like that. We are not changing the number of CPUs here as well. Uh, then press next. Uh, the amount of uh, hard disk space you want to allocate for your virtual machine. I'll select 25 GB over here and then press next keep rest of the settings settings as it is now this is our virtual machine as you can see if you want to have any modifications in the settings of it you can press on settings and uh, uh, select different things on this one uh, for me uh, it seems okay so i'm not going to make any changes to this one um, if you're satisfied just press ok and click on the start button so that we can start the installation of our virtual machine as you can see, it's loading the operating system and the interface of it is exactly like Windows 10. Now press next and accept the license agreement. Uh, no need to make any changes here. Press next. And it would start installing Windows, just like we do it in Windows 10. It will take a while, so let's pause the video and we'll resume once it's done. So that's the initial interface of the operating system. 
it would install some of the plugins as soon as the operating system is installed so just give it some time so that it can finish its installation process now as you can see it has successfully installed most of the things now it would sign out and it would restart the PC now guys keep a note of one thing that since as you can see it's asking for press any key to boot from CD we don't have to press it because when we were installing the virtual machine we added the ISO image and that's why it's showing you to press any key if you'll press any key it would start installing the operating system again so the best way is that once the operating system is installed you can go and remove the ISO file so that it does not show you over and over again so that's the initial interface of it and uh, in order to be more comfortable with the virtual machine we'll be installing the uh, extension packs on this one first so that we can have a full screen and all the display drivers added to it as well so in order to do that go to uh, devices and click on insert guest edition cd image then right click on start go to file explorer go to your CD drive double click on it you'll be able to see these files over here uh, double click on VirtualBox Windows editions and it would install certain files on it and again it would ask for a restart and restart the computer now so we have restarted and as you can see it's a full screen mode of it We'll go to the settings of the PC to check the actual version. It's asking to activate your Windows. We'll see how can we do it. And then uh, if we we'll go to system, uh, we want to go in about and we can see that it's taking four gigs of RAM and an excellent performance as you can see in task manager as well that uh, there are no lagging applications or anything. It's quite fluid on the system. Uh, it's not taking lots of resources on the PC. It's version 0.51. Overall, there is no difference in the interface of it. It's almost the same. We have all the features that we need in the operating system. And if we'll go to settings and we'll try to rename the system or anything, let's see what op options are available in this one. For example, if we rename the PC, we can do that. If we want to join it to the domain, that option is not available here. Now, the strange thing is this version does not have Microsoft Edge installed on it. Instead, it has uh, Internet Explorer. So if you want to install Chrome, you'll have to install it separately. So since it's saying that the Windows is not activated on this version of Windows as you can see over here, uh, we'll try to activate Windows using the KMS server that we have on our network. So in order to activate it, first of all, we'll have to get the activation key of Windows 10. For that, we'll go to Microsoft website and we'll type in Windows 10 KMS keys and it would take us to Microsoft website and as you can see Microsoft is sharing the KMS keys that we can use now KMS keys are uh, the keys for KMS client uh, if you have it set it up in your infrastructure you can use it and your KMS server would activate your Windows 10 or 11 whatever you have it on your computer so we have copied the key from Microsoft website now we'll click on change key and we'll paste the key over here and press next now it's saying that it would activate Windows using the product key so click activate and as you can see it has successfully activated Windows 10 now that's the beauty of this operating system that if you have your KMS server working in your organization you can still activate this version of Windows 10 
and uh, now we'll have all the features and everything on it if, in order to verify that if windows is activated you can see windows is successfully activated and if you click start go to settings as well here now you cannot see that it requires activation or anything so it's a, um, a stripped down version of windows 10 uh, which is uh, quite powerful as far as the performance is concerned uh, we don't have uh, lots of features like drivers and stuff which is not required for a gaming pc but if you need a super light pc with almost everything that you want to use in windows 10 um, this is the operating system for that.